Hey guys, it's me, Simple Sass here, and I kid you not, I've recorded this video like seven times now, and I've kind of gotten tired of it. I've had up to here, you can't see where here is, but it's pretty darn high. So I'm going to keep this video short, just establish the family, establish the house, and maybe a little bit of my recording style, but other than that, it's going to be short, sweet, to the point. It's episode one, want to get out of the way. Okay, so yeah. Um, I got this house from the Generations Expansion Pack. I didn't want to make one from scratch because I don't know. I just didn't want to. You know, sometimes you don't feel like it. But I got this from the Generation Expansion Pack and it's very cute. I like it. It turned out pretty well. It, it fit for what I had to do in the challenge and it's nice for children if you have a sim family with children. It's called Dollhouse. So I recommend getting it if you want to not build a house but you want a really nice preset house and I'm gonna see if I can get it all on screen no okay well we can look at the playground that's a cute playground that's a cute playground sorry <laughs> tongue tied okay well at the top floor we have this cute little family den area where everyone can hang out and whatever and we have a study area um a little play area for the adults and then a playroom i thought it was really cute the way they did it i mean the colors were horrible it was so tacky so bad but i fixed the colors and now it looks better they had like some bright orange or whatever i even fixed the gym the gym was the worst of all because it looks so bad i would not even want to step foot in it if it was a real house it was it was terrible whoever did it please reevaluate your life please just rethink it rethink it but other than that other than the colors and some of the lighting it was nice on the second floor we have the bedrooms and the i guess the bathrooms bathroom toilets i don't know but we have those and i don't like the bedroom but i don't like the parents either so that's going to be their punishment they're staying in that room yeah and over here on our left we have Alison and Alyssa's room and I absolutely love Alison's room not because I'm into gothic things not because I'm into like that kind of thing or not because I'm against it but just because it took so much time and so much detail and it looks so simple and easy but it's my first gothic room I've never thought to have a gothic sim and it turned out so cute I loved it I love making it it was so much fun so much fun and I just love it, honestly, I really do. I'm gonna give you a full view of it, just like spin the room around, spin the room around so you can see everything and see the walls, add little paintings and whatever. And it's really cute, I really like it. And her sister's room actually came with the house and I was really surprised. It's really cute for a little child or little girl. It's really posh, really prim, really pink, very pink. Um, but it's really cute. I like it. I'd, I'd like it for my own room, really. But I liked it, so I left it how it was. And this little caddy, I love it. It's for the bathroom. Or I guess it could be used for the toilet as well. But I love it, and I really want to use it for a room. So I used it. And now to the first floor. We have basically everything else. And I don't like the kitchen. I'm definitely changing that in like one of the upcoming episodes but I didn't like it so I'm gonna change the colors and stuff and this sunroom this sunroom I love it I never thought to add a sunroom to a sim house or even a regular house really never thought of it but it's so cute so darling and whoever did this you can pat yourself on the back you don't need to reevaluate your life yeah so carry on and keep doing such a good job because look at those colours they go together so well and they fit sunroom and yeah I hate that bathroom that they have there it's so tacky toilets and bathrooms shouldn't go together anyway so that's the dining room I didn't really change anything there either and we have the living room which you saw in the preview and if you haven't seen the preview I suggest you see it just because it has the link to the challenge and I don't think I'll be going over that very much but yeah that's the whole house that's my tour 
I'm sorry if it's not as good as it could have been but I've recorded it so many times and it's hard to remember what I have introduced and what I haven't and I just want to get my first video out of the way so let's see what else shall we do probably yeah we should probably go over like the different people and whatever so I guess we can start from we'll start from the top okay so first we have dad Mr Ted Upton what is he doing oh he's flattering his favorite child okay so he's a workaholic charismatic a snob um schmoozer and friendly okay um well the reason why I gave him friendly is not because he's going to be a friendly person but more because it would help him to get higher up in his political leader job a lot quicker and I want him to you know be more on that and then we have Lisa Upton not Cindy her name was gonna be Cindy but I had to reset the family and I started to like Lisa so I'm leaving it what's she doing is she sleeping in her daughter's bed that's so weird no go in your own room you know what your punishment is treating your daughter terrible and then going to sleep in your daughter's bed well yeah so she's gonna be the trophy wife she's absent-minded can't start art dramatic um hopeless romantic and charismatic and again the pants don't really matter i just have them there so that it can be a whole family give off that you know look and vibe and whatever and it's in the challenge um oh i didn't tell you about his little details and stuff i'll go over that later okay so for little lissa she's like a parent she's a workaholic she doesn't like art and she's a snob and the reason why i gave her those characteristics is because i wanted her to be you know have the sibling rivalry between her and Alison and I thought that would be best if they had such opposite personalities and if they were very much so different. Is she asleep? Is he tucking her into his bed? I promise you, I set these beds for nothing because they're all going to just sleep where they want. I, I can't get over it, I'm sorry. Okay, so moving on, we have Alison, the good little girl who's going to stay in her own room, I'm hoping. She's, um, a loner, autistic and mean spirited and the reason why she's like that is because I wanted it to be easier to make them nemesis ne okay put in the comment below what you think they should be called or how to describe their relationship that's another thing you can put in there just so I can figure out a word because nothing's coming to mind right now but yeah so that's why I gave her those traits and see she's a good girl she's gonna go in her room as compared to her sister and okay so the little details his favorite color is yellow he likes hot dogs and he likes electronica music and he's a Virgo and he wants to be leader of the free world so that's him and then mum here she is basically you know she's mum so she's gonna like the color red um she likes french toast and she's a bit of a hipster so i gave her like indie music as her favorite music and also she's a taurus i think that's how you say it taurus and she wants to be super popular and then daughter she likes yellow too and tofu dogs and indie music no no sorry chinese music and she's a Taurus as well and then her sister likes the colour yellow a lot of people like yellow egg rolls and Chinese music that's a bit more I guess you could say cohesive she's a Taurus as well um yeah so even in the likes and dislikes you can see that there's a bit of cohesion and I guess it's press play because someone's about to wake up so I guess I can give them more breakfast okay so they made waffles the other day and I think I'm gonna just make them all eat that so I'm gonna place that in the dining room 
and call the family to a meal. Let's see. Okay, that's strange. Is there only one plate there? Okay, let's see. No, there's only one plate. Okay, well, only Alison's gonna eat. Stinks to stink for everyone else. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, ooh, he's dirty. Yeah, you're gonna need a bath before you even think about eating. You need to smell nice before you go to work, yeah? Yeah. Let's see. Oh no, she's going to work. I absolutely hate when the when the bars aren't fully green and they go off places. I don't know why, but I I just hate it. It's so upsetting to me. And I think it's going to be a real challenge for me because it says in the rules you can't control the girly girly sister and I really love controlling them. I I'm such a control freak, honestly. And um yeah, you can't control them, so that's going to be a challenge for me. What? There was more than one plate? I guess only adults can call everyone to a meal. Well, he can grab a plate when he's done bathing because he smells really bad. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about not being able to control her. It's just going to be some restraint on my part. Um, okay, so she's eating. She needs a bath as well. This whole family just smells, don't they? I find it funny that she's like making this face on her mood lids that says that she smells something funny. Yeah, it's probably herself. Oh, no, it's the plate. She's cleaning up the plates. That's so nice of her. I don't see why her parents don't like her. She's over here cleaning for them and whatever. She's so nice. Yeah, I'm showing a bit of favouritism towards Alison. I think you can notice that as my videos progress. Like, it's probably going to get real bad. Especially since I can control her and whatever. I use the word of whatever, like, a lot, don't I? I think I'll work on that. Well, I guess it looks like everybody's going to be going off and, and soon... Every the house is going to be empty. See, I stopped myself. I stopped myself there. Go make him pay some bills. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to work on saying whatever because I think I say it too much. Way too much. But everyone's leaving, going off to school, going off to work. So I'm going to just end the video here. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was nice. I hope it, you know, makes you want to watch the next video. And I promise you, it's only going to get better. I just want to get this video out of the way so I can keep improving and make progress. Because I can't make progress without having a starting place. And this is my starting place and I think it's really good. So, I guess that's it. Um, What can be my sign out phrase? I need a sign out phrase. Can people put ideas? Please put ideas for a sign out phrase. I need one really badly. Um, So bye I guess I don't know sign up